Have you ever wanted to run powerful large language models but without sending your private data to a public and even possibly unsafe server? Today, we'll be giving you the tools and knowledge to run a DeepSeq model as an API service for free on your PC, making local AI accessible to everyone. This means complete privacy and full control over your AI interactions. We're going to download and set up a Llama on Windows and then demonstrate just how easy it is to run powerful large language models right from your own computer. No complicated setups, no cloud dependencies, no fees, just pure local AI power. We'll set up Alama as a simple, reliable API service and then show you how to unlock its potential for making your life easier. Our example was written in Python, but any programming language would work just as well. Okay, let's get started. We have included the instructions in the description below, also in a GitHub repo, along with the code we used in this video. First, we'll start with setting up the Python environment, including the libraries that we need. We'll create the environment named DeepSeq AI Test. Then we activate it. And finally, install the libraries. Some of these packages are for Olama, and some of them are for Jupyter Notebooks, which are good for learning and debugging issues. We will be using the Python scripts version today. As an alternative, you can install Olama from pip. We need to install Alama on our desktop. Go to the Alama website, download the latest version, and then run the setup when it is ready. When Alama is finished installing, we run a few Alama commands. The first one will pull the model from the Alama website to our PC. This will take a while and we'll use several gigs of disk space. Run the list command to see what models have been downloaded to this point. Alama run will start up the model in interactive mode. You can test everything by asking a question here. Slash by will shut down the application. The files from the model will be stored on your disk in this location. Disk usage tells us how much space is being used so far. Today, we are interested in running this as a background service, so we can send REST API messages to this model. Type in Olama serve and keep this window open. You will see some useful application tracing being logged. There are a few other ways to start the service. We won't go into them today, but here are some details. Since we are using the request library for the REST API connection, we import it here. We also import a timer to see how long this code takes. This package will be included in our repo. This is how we use the timer as a decorator to our function. We have a function here that takes in two inputs, the prompt or question that we will ask and the model we want to use. This will get the latest v2 model version. We build a payload for our model, which includes the model name, prompt, and whether we are streaming our responses or not. This is our API call with the URL and the JSON to be sent. We wrapped all this in a try-catch statement to keep the app from crashing. We return the response to be printed later. We included some basic error handling. In our first example, we send the scientific question and then print the result. Then we will send this math question. We'll need to open a new terminal. The other one is busy running the Olama API service. It's waiting for us to send requests. Now we're ready to run the application. So we get it started and wait for the results. While it's running, this is what you will see in the other window. When it is finished, you'll see the post logging. Go back to the other terminal to see our answers. The first one took 13 seconds to answer. There is some latency going on here. The next question should be faster once the model is stored and running from memory. The answer looks accurate and rather detailed. The math questions took almost four seconds and also looks correct. From here, you can keep asking questions and sending them to the REST API. You can even have several applications or users asking questions, maybe create a web page for anyone to use your API. We didn't show it here, but as an alternative, you can use the Olama library to connect to the API instead of the request library. Check out the other scripts in our repo for examples on how to use that method. In this demonstration, we've seen how easily we can leverage the power of large language models locally using Olama as an API and its Python library. We've shown how simple it is to generate text, handle streaming responses, and even work with chat-based models. This local control opens up a wide range of possibilities from creating personalized AI assistance to developing offline applications. The ability to run these powerful models on your own hardware provides significant advantages 
in terms of privacy, control, and accessibility. As the field of LLMs continues to evolve, Olama offers a valuable platform for experimentation and innovation. We encourage you to explore the capabilities of Olama further and consider how it can be integrated into your own projects. The possibilities are truly exciting. If you want the latest LLM models, watch my videos on how to use these models from Hugging Face, link in the description below. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. As always, questions and comments are welcome. See you next time.